Hi guys, Ian here with another lesson and uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at this Jonathan Kreisberg influenced lick. Uh, as you can see it incorporates some uh, arpeggios and sweep picking for uh, a more fast lick and it works really well if you're playing a solo and you're trying to build up some momentum or energy. Uh, if you're looking for an example of Kreisberg using this idea, he does it a lot in, in a lot of live solos that he plays and uh, a place that I can think about it in a good recording would be uh, in his solo on his song Kiitos, which is off the South of Everywhere album. Great solo, and he uses this kind of line to a really cool effect uh, in that solo. So for the purposes of, of simplicity, I've kept the progression in this video diatonic so we can mainly look at um, the technique and how to play the arpeggios correctly. And then, of course, later on, I, I definitely encourage you to experiment in using it over uh, a variety of progressions and maybe change up some of the shapes and uh, play it over more advanced harmonies. Um, anyway, the progression itself is starting with uh, C major 7, and then that goes to E minor 7, then F major 7. A minor 7, and then back to C major 7. So we're starting off with the C major 7 arpeggio, and we're going to put our pinky on the 7th fret high E, and then we're going to pull off to the 3rd fret like this. And then I like to do an upstroke on the next string, which is we're going to bar here with our middle finger on the 5th frets. B and G strings, and then do two upstrokes. Then we're going to play with the downstroke, the fourth fret G string, and then hammer onto the fifth fret. Another downstroke, another downstroke, and then an upstroke on the seventh fret. So we can loop that as practice. So that's the first shape. And that picking and hammering on I, I, uh, pattern is going to be continued through each shape. We're going to do the same thing with our right hand through each of these shapes. So the next shape is the E minor 7th shape. And we're going to be pulling off from the 10th fret to the 7th fret, high E. Sorry. And then play the 8th fret B string. Play the 9th fret G string and then play the 7th fret, hammer back on, play the 8th fret again, the 7th fret high E, and then the upstroke on the 10th fret again. And then we're going to go back to the major 7th shape for the F major 7th chord, and uh, we're going to be pulling off from the 12th fret to the 8th fret on the high E, and we're going to play the same shape that we did for the C major 7th shape. So it's going to sound like this. And then we're going to go up to the 15th fret and play the same minor 7th shape that we played for the E minor 7. This time we're just going to start by pulling off from the 15th to the 12th fret. So if I do the whole, uh, oh sorry, and then we're going to end on the 12th fret uh, B string. So now the whole lick slowly. faster. And a little bit faster. A 
okay, that's the lick. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as always with my videos, please look in the description section where you can find the tab and notation for free. Uh, you don't have to pay for anything. It's a free download. It takes you to a Dropbox link and it'll give you a PDF file there for you to view. Uh, so please check that out. It has both tab and notation. And uh, if you enjoyed these videos, guys, please subscribe. It really means a lot to me. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.